Hello everybody and welcome to Enter the Gungeon of Farewell to Arms. In the previous episode we played as the robot and did a rainbow run and went and good killed his past and it was an incredibly good run. We had uh, some really good stuff and we got the shovel and oh my god we got so much junk it was insane. But this time we're going to go and do the pilot and the pilot is known for having a slightly harder past than some of the other characters and also I don't think it's been, I don't think I've done his past in like nine months, I think it's been about nine months since I did his past, so I may be a little rusty, hopefully I can still do a decent job at it and we'll uh, do okay. We're going to hop in here on a normal run and see how we can do. It has been a really long time as well since I played as the pilot, um, as his default self, so I've been playing uh, with the Enter the Gungeon um, mod called Isaac Gamers that lets you randomise your character starting items before this DLC came out, and so even if I started with a pilot, he never started with his starting weapon or starting items. So it's been a, uh, it's been kind of a kind of a wild one, uh, and I've not really played with his default kit for a long time. And I remember his kit is just, just really nice. I mean, his starting weapon is just goddamn awful. If you don't know much about the pilot, he has a lot of utility. He has pickwocks, which has a 50% chance to open a, a chest without using a key, which is nice if you don't have any keys that are lying around. Um, he has a. Uh, Plus 10% to his ammo capacity, which is obviously lovely. Um, he has uh, an extra active slot, and he has a 10 or 15% shop discount, which is just a load of utility. But that comes at a price. His starting pistol is by far the worst out of everyone's. It has really bad range and really bad accuracy. His damage per shot isn't actually too bad, but you have to hit every shot. And with this gun, with its accuracy, at any sort of range, it's just not viable to do that. It really isn't. Especially on the boss. The boss is there. Uh, you really don't want to be using this gun when you get to the boss because it becomes a big, 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 big problem for you. But we'll uh, we'll try our best to, to use his kit and utilities as much as we possibly can and do a good job with it. There you go. But like, as you can see here, look. We're just reaching him but at this range. But if we get to like here... Oh, we're still hitting him here. Maybe they increase the range. I doubt it. There we go. Like that's that's about the range. So you've got like half a room's length on one of these big rooms, which isn't actually. It doesn't seem like it's that bad, but against bosses, it's pretty terrible. And also, compared to the other starting weapons, it's, it's so much worse. Like the Marines has a way longer, like double the range that this one does. So it can be quite problematic. Oh, roll over all them boys. What we got here? Some sort of shrine. Goopentine. Oh, shrines are the green, the, the green, aren't they? Um, the plunger is is a, is a maybe. Um, they did do a change to the plunger recently, where if you reload it while standing over a patch of um, a patch of poison goo, it instantly refills all of its ammo, which is awesome. A really good little change to make it just that little bit more potent. I mean, it's not like it runs out of ammo very often, anyways, but it is still cool. Ah, yeah, it's it is still decent. Ooh, so we've got two pretty good chests here. Um, something I do like to do with the uh, with the pilot, especially, is use his picklocks on one chest and then open the other by no uh, like by normal means, and then go down to the oubliette, uh, or even just uh, try open him uh, one by picklocks. And we'll have to see how many keys we get. Really, that that really is the uh, defining factor. Now I have terrible picklock luck. Um, I tend to I tend to always just fail the chest. Uh, but like I said, it, it really depends on whether we'll uh, whether we get keys and whether we even need to think about that. So hopefully we don't. Hopefully we don't actually have to think about that at all. Come on, you big iron bitch! You can't get me. Nice. So no keys so far. Also no barrel in this room, which is peculiar. There's got to be a barrel nearby somewhere. I, I know I saw one up here. There, there it is. There it is. Let's go take this round and down. By the way, don't ever flip the tables when there's a barrel nearby. It just destroys the barrel straight up, and it's horrible. Damn it. There we go. We got it. We got it. It's very annoying when you have to move the barrel from room to room. Create some problems. That's just off, I think. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. We got it. Ah. There you go. We got it. Gentlemen, we got him. My god, I did a drunk episode like not too long ago, uh, like New Year's I think it was, and oh my god, I was singing that song so much, I was so fucking drunk, it was crazy. I've got like three drunk episodes out now, or no, I've got two drunk episodes and a drunk stream. I don't know why, but I thought it'd be fun. My first, my first drunk one, I, I beat the lich, I did, did pretty well. Oh no, no, I didn't beat the lich, I, I beat the dragon. I actually pussied out and didn't end up doing the lich, but that was because I was very drunk and tired and it was like 4am. I think that's good reason enough. 
Ah! Right. Key situation. How are we in the shop? We do have a key available. Nice. And we do get that little bit of a discount. So we're in a situation now where we basically have to pick lock these two chests. Now, I'm going to I'm gonna hedge my bets. I'm going to be a bit of an idiot. I, 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 there we go. I, I, I bricked one of them there. But the reason I've done that is so, no junkin, is so I can go and kill the boss and then recharge my active item and try again on the next one if we don't get a key off this boss. We are unfortunately fighting this boss with the uh, with the starting pistol now, which is a real bad situation to be in. And uh, it, it doesn't bode well for our flawless, I'll put it that way. It's just It means we have to spend longer and longer fighting this guy and it becomes harder and harder. I don't like the position I'm stood in right now. There we go. We got it. We got it. But yeah, it just takes such a long time to kill him that we have to spend so much longer battling off his attacks and uh, just it becomes difficult and awkward. Calm down, you. I'm trying to pull him up to the corner of the room so that I can rotate around underneath him. Because if you rotate underneath him and pull him up, then the, the shot from above that he does out the top of his chair doesn't become too big of an issue. That's uh, that's one of the attacks that can really be a big problem for you. So you want to try and keep him up above so he doesn't end up screwing you over with that. And then rotate below him. That attack of air is the one I'm talking about. Because it's so RNG based. I'm going to do a blank there. I don't feel comfortable about that dodge roll. Uh, it's so RNG based that you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be anywhere near it when it goes off, especially not above him. So what I try to tend to do is I tend to pull him up towards me over here and then rotate it around. That seems to be the best way to deal with this guy. So sort of a kind of figure of eight motion, and uh, you can kind of kite him around, and that's that's generally the best way, especially when you're fighting him with something that's weak like this pistol. You want to try and you want to try and stay as far away from him as possible without obviously being too far away to not be able to hit him. But there we go. We managed to get that flawless. And it did actually go okay. Do we get a key? Do we get a key? We do not. So we do. We did make the right call picklocking that chest first. I'm going to picklock this one. Unfortunately, we bricked that chest as well, which is really annoying. So we're starting this run off with no items. We're going to go down to the oubliette, uh, which is a big shame. I, it, it is always upsetting when that happens and you don't end up getting uh, anything on the first floor, especially when it's two green chests. We... We kind of want to be opening green chests because we want to find the magnum as, uh, as soon as possible. So maybe that was a bad call. But then again, we have to get to the uh, oubliette. So we could have maybe tried picklocking the oubliette. But that's, that's always a risky game. Oh, it's a risky game indeed. So I, I tend not to do that. I tend to go down here and try and guarantee me getting down here rather than playing games with it. I'd rather, I'd rather get down here and uh, get the extra floor with the extra money and boss drop than I would just the extra chests. Even though they wear green. Yeah, like I said, the picklock is just very unreliable. Very unreliable indeed. You'd expect one or two of those to actually open, but not for us today. Not for us today. We did get a key drop there, which is just typical. Didn't get that on the last floor. It's great. Right, we're going to freeze these guys. Just the ones that matter, especially the pupulum. There we go. Got him. This is actually a pretty good weapon, the uh, the snowballer. Just It lets you get some good CC on enemies and uh, sort of make them chill out a little bit. Okay, switch over to our other weapon once they're frozen. Oh god, oh god. He fired faster than I expected. Faster than I anticipated. Should be okay though. Nice. Got that guy deaded. And we've got a shop here. What you selling us, boy? What you selling us? Um, Oil cylinder is a very good item. It is increased reload speed. I'm pretty sure it pretty much doubles. Um, oh, Sorry, half your reload speed, not doubles. That'd be crazy. Um, so that is something that we probably do want to uh, invest in. Uh, it depends on the amount of money we end up getting from this floor, though, and also our key situation. Depending on the, what chests are available, I would probably rather open two green chests than get oil cylinder. Uh, so if we didn't end up needing to buy a key and can't afford oil cylinder, then that's going to be the way it'll be. So let's battle that as we uh, as we come to it, though, and see what actual chests we have available. To us. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get snowballed. Snowed in the balls. Oh my god, yeah. So we're still looking for um, Trank Gun, Teapot, uh, the Synergy, and there's one other thing we're looking for as well, but I can't remember what it is. I cannot remember. Do you remember? Oh, that was close. That was close. Very close indeed. Yeah, we, we, we really need um, Super Space Turtle and Magnum are the two items we need more than anything. 
they'll uh, they'll help us get more progression very quickly. And ooh, a little bit of health there. That's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Absolutely shredding through these guys. Like I said, the Snowballer is actually pretty decent in terms of the D tier category. Got decent damage, decent fire rate, decent ammo, and on top of that, obviously it freezes. So I'd say all in all, it's a pretty decent weapon to have on you. Oh my god. Please stop, shotgunners. You managed to get both of them there, which is really nice. Just slows them down a little bit, because they are very annoying enemies. They fire very, very quickly. I remember when I first came down here and I was like, how is it even possible that you can kill these guys? And it's like, no. Eh, whatever. Little bitches. Don't know how quick we're going to kill this guy. Oh, we actually did it fairly quickly. <clears throat> Just trying to freeze the mushroom, dude. Just because they're such a pain. The little trail off shots that they do and everything is, is very annoying. Oh god, the death explosion is just as annoying as the trail off shots, my god. Oh, he exploded. He did his kaboom. His big caboose kaboom. Still no chests yet. Still no chests. I'm surprised. I thought we would have come across one by now. I'm hoping for a green chest actually. I really want the magnum, like really badly. That would be mucho good. Mucho good indeed. Hey, pooped on. Die. I was going to say, I was one bullet of killing him there. I was like, I know that you're super close. Really? We made it all the way to the boss without finding a single chest. Come on now, game. Give me what I need. We're running on fumes here. Need some power. Need to give this run some oomph. Some big oomph. make our way over to this chest down here. I can see a little red X there. By the way, again, for those of you that are a bit more uninitiated with uh, with Gungeon, the, the red X always, always means a chest. There is there is times, times where a shop has a red X, but you can tell. Like, when it's just a normal red X, then it's going to be a thingy. It's, it's going to be a, a chest. We did take a, a few hits there, a few hits of damage. It's not anything big to worry about. We, we, sh we should still be in the in the AOK camp. Right, get rid of that guy while I deal with while I deal with this uh, blobulon. Blobulon, what are you here for? Ah, ah, ah! Got him. A little bit of HP there as well. Very nice. Pecks up a little bit, and we will open this. And muscle relaxant is great. It increases our accuracy by quite a bit, and that helps us quite a lot with uh, God, an unlock there. Yes, helps quite a lot with shotgun weapons, which we just picked up, and our pistol as well. Our starting pistol becomes a lot better. Muscle relaxant is one of the strongest accuracy upgrades as well, so very nice to have it this early on. It's going to kind of form our run and uh, like be a nice backbone for a lot of weapons that we get. Uh, that and oil cylinder, if we pick up oil cylinder, are going to be two items that are going to make a massive difference in a uh... oh, bloody hell game. What are you doing? Minimizing again. Uh, going to be a pretty decent... Uh, solidifier in terms of like our strength for, for, throughout this run I think reload speed um, and accuracy are two really big things in this game that people don't often don't often attribute as much to their damage like they can be a really big factor especially accuracy accuracy can be a really big factor with so many weapons like the uh, hegemony carbine and the hegemony rifle are two two examples that are like not great without it but very good with an accuracy upgrade and like I said with muscle relaxant being one of the strongest accuracy upgrades in the game and it also has some good synergies. And we also just got Broccoli. Broccoli is a damage up and it's an S tier. So, very happy about that. Um, so, even though we don't have keys, I am going to buy the oiled cylinder. Oh, we have enough for a key anyways. I'll buy that key as well. Um, and that's going to put us in a real good position. Um, just going to let us, with things like our pistol, reload way quicker. And it just makes it just makes our guns overall better. Uh, especially ones like um, the sling or things that only have one am uh, ammo capacity in their uh, magazine. It's going to make them a lot better because they are just going to be able to fire faster. It just technically increases their fire rate, which is really nice. Now, this is going to turn things to chickens, as you just saw there. And we can now reload it faster, which is nice. And even with the accuracy upgrade, we're going to be getting closer spread. Plus a bundle of shots, which means higher chance for all of them to hit. And a higher chance for them to chickenify enemies, which is lovely. I just wish that when chickens walked into fire, they turned into roast chickens. But they don't. It's so sad. They just die. Could have added a little roast chicken in there for me. Dodge roll games. Just a little roast chicken. Ah! Nice. Got a shop up here. Actually came up across our shop pretty quickly here. Ah! Ow! Got hit there on our armor piece. Nope. 
Stay away, bad man. Oh, it's one of these dudes. This, this guy's gonna get chickenified. Yep. Knew it. Called it. Called it. Oh, we can fire so fast with this extra reload speed. It's lovely. Although we are bent for ammo a little quicker than we would normally. Um, right now, I'm not going to buy anything from here simply because I don't know what other shops lie on this floor. There could very well be um, an NPC shop somewhere about that we might want to that we might want to in invest in instead. So I'll uh, I'll keep my money for now and we'll we'll explore the floor before buying a key. But I'll probably, depending on our chest, come back and buy a key anyways. If they're if they're brown or uh, blue, I'll probably just lockpick them anyways. I tend to do that. Brown and blue chest, I lockpick, and then anything above, I try to use a key on, unless I just can't. There you go. Nice easy room there. Looks looks quite hard when you initially go up against it, but then you realize that you can slip down the back there and it's, it's quite easy. Right. Ah! They're all shooting at me. Right, when you realize you can roll over these enemies as well, these rooms come a lot easier. <laughs> We'll take ammo for this, definitely, because it is getting a little low. Like I said, we are bent for ammo. Just that little bit quicker than we would be normally. And it does look like there's some sort of NPC shop here. Maybe it's a gun muncher. It probably will be a gun muncher, knowing my luck, but it could well be an NPC. It's a gun muncher. Of course, it's a gun muncher. Uh, we don't want that for anything until we uh, find any bad guns on this floor. Like, we probably want to do the snowballer with uh, another bad gun if we find it. Like I said, the snowballer is nice, but now that we've got this bundle of ones, I'm not too bothered about it. I'm going to use a key on that. The shot bow used to be really bad. I don't know if they changed it. With extra reload speed, it's better. The, it seems better. It seems like it's got a much tighter spread than normal, but that might, that might just be from my accuracy upgrade. I don't know. But before, it was really bad, so we'll see how it, we'll see how it fares. It might even have increased damage. We, we, we don't know that yet. But before, it was just awful. Like, absolutely just not worth picking up ever. Seems better now, though. But then again, that could just be from broccoli plus reload speed plus accuracy. Like I said, though, them, them are such a big augment as in damage. You can you can really be dealing a lot more damage if you're hitting more of your shots and reloading, getting them shots out much quicker. Like, one of the big downsides of this gun was its reload speed being so darn long, so... That's there. Uh, that's really cleared up an issue with that. Ah. Gotcha. There's no other enemies in this room. I thought there was another one of them. One of them guys. Wait, what? what? Oh, wait. We haven't found another chest yet. So, let's go and buy a key. We haven't found any other NPCs in this floor, so there's no need to uh, to not buy one. We'll open this chest up and hope for... Do you know what? HP isn't bad. It's not, it's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for uh, a damage upgrade of some kind, but... HP will do me for now, I suppose. Right, let's uh, let's actually use this shot bow for the boss and see how it fares against uh, the Gorgon here. It should be okay. Right, with the Gorgon, a few tips as well is always pull her to the top of the screen. She's much easier to deal with at the top of the screen because a lot of her bullets and a lot of her patterns actually get pressed into the wall, making them much easier to dodge. This one's super easy. It's like the it's like the um, the first boss that we fought that we fought, but easier. And this one's fairly easy. It can be a bit annoying depending on where you stood and depending on where she puts her poison down. But normally, if you're okay, pull her up to the top of the screen like this. There you go. I'm missing quite a lot of shots here. That's just me being silly, though. There you go. And she's dead. Honestly, shot bow. A bit more respectable with the upgrades we have. Nano machines is really nice. That's going to give us two pieces of armor right off the bat, and it's also going to give us an extra two pieces of an extra piece of armor every four hits we take. So it's as effectively it's increasing our health um, by like six or seven, depending on how much health we currently have. For every two hearts we lose, we gain an armor. So. Four or six. It it gets it gives us an extra three hits of uh, HP, which is nice. Ah, God. Oh, God. I don't know why I walked. That was, like, super choreographed. I knew it was there. I saw the laser, and I still walked into it. Oh, my God. We got a random red chest drop. When we get a key, we're coming back for that. That was that was rather nice. Thank you, game. Go away, caller. Don't like you. Yeah, this thing, if it had a little bit higher fire rate and, like, maybe two more shots in this magazine, I'd, 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 I'd be more, on, more involved with using it more often. With the upgrades we have, like I said, it seems pretty good, but I, I think they are just the upgrades we have that are enhancing it. I don't think it's actually been buffed via uh, via the update. I'll have to see, wait until some statistics come out. 
We've got the bullet ball. Bullet ball is not bad at all. We'll probably use it more as a boss killer than anything else. Uh, it can stun enemies, so we could we could use it for a, a bit of CC, depending on the room, which is a useful idea. I'm actually going to do that now. Ah, oh, it didn't fucking work anyways. God damn, we one-shot that guy. There you go, yeah. So on, on certain bigger enemies, I'll probably use it as CC, but... By the, way, by the way, CC means crowd control, for those of you wondering. Um, and uh, it's a kind of a sort of Diablo, World of Warcraft sort of term. Um, MMORPG kind of thing. Uh, well, it's not really. It's, it's from a lot of games, but that's where it's mainly used. Uh, but yeah, so we can use it for that. Just getting a little stun off really quickly on an enemy. Uh, just to make sure they kind of out of our face. But we don't want to be using it too often. Ah. Got him. Bit of extra ammo for this thing as well. I'm actually quite liking it. It's, it's doing it's doing a good job. A good job indeed. Oh god, what is this room? You know, whilst I've seen this one. I didn't even kill him. No. Gotcha. And here's our shop. We've got pretty decent money, so we could well be looking for something decent. Um, good Night Greaves would give us a two armor right now and also plus one armor every floor. So it's very tempting. Again, I will, I will wait until the end of the floor because I don't immediately need the health or armor right now. And it'd be better to see if we have any NPCs available to us that we can, uh, that would be better to spend our money on. It's one of the tips I actually give in my tips and tricks video. Make sure to save buying things until the end of the floor unless it's absolutely necessary or you know there's nothing better. Like, a lot of the time, if I see duct tape in Mr. Goobertine's shop before I go to the real shop, I'll just buy it because I nothing much is going to beat duct tape. I mean, that's just true. So, it's usually a safe bet with things like that, but other ones you kind of want to hold off a bit and see if there's anything better that you might want to spend your money on. And a lot of the time, I wouldn't say every time, but a lot of the time you'll end up finding an NPC on that shop or like a shrine or something that you want to spend your money on and it's much better spent. Like, so many times have I not listened to my own rule. I've spent all my money at the shop, walked around the floor, found a YV shrine and been depressed because I had like 300k and I spent like 150 or something on the shop. Yeah, that, that's the situation that I've come across a few times and no one, no one in the world wants to uh, wants to miss out on YB Shrine. They're just so fun. Ah, I tried to push him in the pit, but it didn't work. This is annoying. Ow. Definitely annoying when you do that. Stop it, turret. Thank you. Chest here. We'll just open that straight away. Backup gun is perfect. I love backup gun. It does exactly what it sounds like it does. It fires a shot out of your back whenever you fire a shot. It is incredibly good with anything that homes, and we have one of those, Bullet Ball. Um, see, this is this is the case I was talking about. Monster Blood would probably be better than Good Night Greaves. I'm going to take this uh, bit of chaos here. But Monster Blood's going to be better than Good Night Greaves, simply because it's going to give us poison immunity along with a HP upgrade. So that's very nice indeed. So I'll take that. I'll probably actually be able to afford Good Night Greaves as well by the looks of things. So I'll probably take that too. But yeah, um, with their backup gun, we've got a uh, Bullet Ball, which is going to home, which is going to make a Bullet Ball. Fire basically two shots, because um, the, the one that comes out of our back will just flip around the front and herm in. Very, very good deal we're getting out of backup gun there. And we do have another chest here, so that's got to be our boss room there, because we haven't found that yet. So what I'll do is I'll buy a gun like Greaves, and I'll buy a key. Hey, don't want to speak to you. And then we'll go and open this chest. Um, I would normally, actually no, I will, I was just going to say I would normally lockpick it, but I'm going to because I want to save my key, and it's only a blue chest. If it was a green, I would have done it, but i will stick to my own rule and pick lock brown and blue chests. Now, I think we are going to have to go through a phase of opening a bunch of brown chests relatively soon, because we still haven't got the, um, the stun gun, whatever it's called, I can't remember its name, but we still haven't got the stun gun yet, and that's going to be, uh, it's going to be good. There we go, look, you see the one coming out of our back and going straight into him. In a bad position there. But yeah, we're basically getting double damage out of this bullet ball, which is real nice. Really good indeed. Unfortunately, obviously, it doesn't apply the stun effect to uh, to bosses, but it does very good damage either way. So, and it's got pretty good ammo efficiency as well. So, I'm pretty happy with uh, with using this as my uh, boss killer for now. And with the extra reload speed, we're technically getting extra fire ray out of it. Uh, doesn't benefit from accuracy upgrade. Oh, and we just got gun knight armor. So we now got two gun knight pieces, which means we get two armor every floor. Very nice indeed. Uh, so if we get a few more pieces of that, we're going to get the uh, Cormorant set. That would be really, really nice. Let's see if we can find our secret room, actually. Just to see if we can find some more chests. Um, I think we already checked this room. We did indeed. Uh, but I thought it would be worth checking anyways. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. So we'll open this brown chest. 
We got a key from it, so that's actually pretty good. And we got also got Pistol Machine. It's a synergy that we've had before, but it is a very good synergy. I think we have it with uh, Nano Machines is the one that uh, triggers it. We'll head down to the next floor. Feeling really, really good about uh, our situation right now. I think we're in a, I think we're in a really tight spot. Uh, I tight, I mean, tight, noise, very noise spot. Uh, and we'll probably continue using the bundle of ones. No, we'll use Pistol Machine actually for a bit. We'll use Pistol Machine for a bit. Um, the machine pistol is one of those guns that, like, its pistol machine synergy is so easy to get that it's a DT weapon that's, like, always worth having. Because you almost always get this synergy over the course of a run at some point, and it's such a powerful synergy, considering the, uh, the weapon's normal power and tier. Turns it from, like, a D tier okay ish gun to, like, an A tier, uh, room clearer. It's crazy. So good. Death, you need to back off. Death was totally last season. Come on. Keep up with the times. Ah. Ah. Hooked on a feeling. I'm high on believing. We'll just open that up. Alien engine. That lets us move a little bit faster, which is nice. Um. Got a pistol machine. A little bit of extra movement speed is always cool. Too much stuff. I always hate that the uh, in AG and D they change so these red guys could spawn on the floor four and above and ah, oh, they only used to be on bullet hell. I hate them. I just hate them. Uh, what we low on? I'll probably fill up the bullet ball. I know that seems like a bit of a waste, but probably our best uh, best bet. Actually, boost ourselves into a room. Oh god, there's a there's a buffer boy somewhere. We managed to hit him briefly. My god, we killed that guy while he was buffed. Come here, you. Get here, boy. Give me that leg, boy. Ah, fuck. Shelly boy, you're down. Ooh, we got ammo for this thing. Nice. And we've also got a mini boss there, which is going to be Fusilier. We keep getting Fusilier. Like, it's, it's really common at the minute. Um, but we, we'll be able to deal with him fairly quickly, fairly swiftly with our bullet ball. I would imagine, at least. I don't believe the mini bosses have a DPS cap either, so you can kill them even faster than you can normal bosses, which is always very nice. Um, we'll go bullet ball. Go in here. Hello, Fusilier. How are you? Damn it. When you enter the room, the, the second one always goes into the wall by accident. But you should be dead in like three shots, I'm thinking. One, two, three. Nope. Four, five, six. My god. Seven shots. Eh. Another key is nice indeed. Nice indeed. We'll just keep using this thing here. It's just like, it gets angry bullets where the bullets bounce off. It gets, um, pa um thingy, uh, ghost bullets where the bullets go through things. It got electric bullets. Oh, it's just, it's mega. It's just mega. Hey, 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 how you doing, little shop boy? Wouldn't you like to know, shop boy? Have you seen that video? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, something about the, like, there's like a firework display coming on, and, uh, this kid's, like, so sat outside this, like, van or something, and the, the reporter goes up to him and says, like, what do you think of the firework, kid? And he just goes, wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, ten. <laughs> oh, my God. So many beanbags around us. Don't touch me. I do not think you can handle. You cannot handle my touches. The sweet caress of my pistol machine. You can he handle it? You just can he handle it, Lodi. I just can he do it. Don't know why I'm speaking in this accent. But I am new. My good. My goodness. Ooh, a bit more ammo. A bit more ammo suffices me nicely. Give me, uh, give me two more good night pieces, please. Ah! What you got for us here? Ice cube is terrible for us, but it does increase our coolness slightly, which is going to increase our uh, drop rate of chests and various other consumables, which is nice. Uh, ice cube, what it does is it lets you charge your active item while your active item is in use. Say you've got like potion of lead skin, while you're using potion of lead skin, you can also charge it and basically get infinite loops of items uh, if you have enough coolness. But unfortunately, we don't have an item that really works with that. We can't use a lot of picks or anything outside of a chest. Right, uh, let's get bullet ball going again because that's been doing a good job for us. And just kind of stay out of the way of this bullshit. 
Just wait for the damage from Bullet Ball to slowly wear him down. Ah, fucking hell. I've already got killed there. Oh, we can still hit him while he's invincible. Hey, hey. Get earned, boy. Oh, my God. That's so cool. We'll hit him while he's underground. Speeding around at the speed of sound. We got you, boy. What you think of that, my ladder? No falls, unfortunately, but that guy's super hard to falls anyways. And um, we got shock rounds. Nice. They actually lowered the tier of shock rounds from S to A, which is a very welcome change. But with, uh, with backup gun, this is going to be pretty good. It'll be pretty good indeed. Um, shot bow, maybe? That's, that's bullet ball. That's not shot bow. I'll try a shot bow out. I'll see, see how that fares. Head down to the next floor. It looks unlikely that we're going to get the Cormorant set. I think for that to happen now, we'd have to get... Uh, oh my god, I'm yawning. Oh my god. Oh. We'd have to get a good night piece from a chest and then have the other one available for sale in the blacksmith shop. Which I think is unlikely. It could happen, but I just think it's unlikely. Ah, spider. Just telefrag me, why don't you? Bitch. That's horrible. Another spider. Come on, I've almost got him. This isn't that good anymore. Pistol machine it is. How are you not dead? Just die. Oh my god, I walked into the pit. Ow. Come on, die you. Buffer boy as well needs to die. He's, he's back up again. He's doing his thing. He's down here. What are you doing down there? They're trying to run away. They can't get away from this boy. I'm too strong. Too strong. I'm going to try and keep some armor going. Uh, I'll open that up. I'll use it. I'll use it. Might as well. It's something to have. Oh, I got stuck on it. Are you kidding me, game? Oh, and there's a telefragged again. Cool. I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. I, got st I placed the turret down and I got stuck inside it. What kind of bullshit is that? Thanks, Portable Turret, for being absolutely awful in everywhere. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I can destroy it with my own bullets. When when did they do that? When did they change this? When when was this decided? Because whoever decided that, it bad. It very bad. It's so stupid. Right, um, what we're going to use is a room clear from now on. I mean, I guess this is our, like, sort of best room clearing sort of weapon, considering it turns things into chickens. We're going to turn big enemies into very small chacon. Very small chickens, indeed. Ah! Craziness in here. Craziness in this house. Poor, that was a good dodge, that. That was actually a proud dodge by me there. Hey, give me that HP. Oh, I don't even need it. Nice. Mega Hand. Oh. Crash Bomber. Oh. We have more Bullet Balls. That's so good. Oh, that is, that, that is one of the worst shops I've ever seen that guy have. Cool. I didn't know this was a synergy. This, this must be one of the new ones. But now we have two Bullet Balls, basically. We have another, another Bullet Ball. Might as well just use this as a bullet ball with more ammo. I wonder if it's weaker. It's got to be weaker, surely. Hey, Cinegrace. How be you? But yeah, this is going to just stun everything and like, link up electricity between them all as well, which is fun. It's got to be slightly weaker. It's got to be. This would be too, this would be too powerful of a synergy if it wasn't. Ah! Just knock him right into me, why don't you? Got him. My god, there's enemies everywhere. How are you not dead? Please die. Thank you. Dunkashin. She got two on him, I think that's enough, isn't it? Yeah. Two of them's enough. Cool. And then anyone passing between them enemies when they're in like when they're close to each other, just electrifies them, which is awesome. 
And we're basically stunning everything in the room as well, which is just great. Everything gets stunned. Yes. This is so powerful. So, so powerful. Got him. This is just a cool synergy. I've, like, it's got to be new because I've never seen this version. Like, the Mega Hand has a bunch of these types of synergies where it has, like, get equipped with whatever. Um, but I've never seen this one before, so it's got to be new. Boom, boom. What do we got here? Oh my god. It could happen. It could happen. Please, Blacksmith Shop. Do it for us. Do it for us. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Uh, right. Synergy Lady, how much do you cost? I'm banking on the Synergy Lady's chest giving us the last piece. We're three pieces in. We all we only need the helmet now. How much are you are you charging? Damn you. You heathen. I just want it to be the Cormorant. Oh, yes. Sh oh, I just remembered. Shadow Bullets plus... Um, Shadow Bullets plus... Backup gun is awesome. Every time you fire a shot, two bullets come out of your back. So now we fire three shots with this thing. Every time. Oh, my God. This is great. This is just so good. This is so good. I love the third one that's just like got that really weird little tail to it. Right, let's actually use the normal bullet ball now because I think the I think the normal bullet ball is stronger. I got stuck on that thing again. That, that you can just destroy it with shock rounds. That's so stupid. That thing's so dumb. It destroys itself with shock rounds. Are you kidding me? Why is that thing so awful? Now I got the explosion to destroying so many of his shots. Got that blank. Yes, you can blank that attack and get rid of both those knives. If you pop a blank just at the right time. Most of you might know that by now, but some of you might not. Oh my god. But yeah, this is crazy. Oh my god. Cool run. I like this run and I cannot lie. Then we gotta do the pilot's pass. Oh, we gotta go pick up the bullet that can kill the pass. Don't forget that. Do not forget the bullet that can kill the pass. Don't be a moron. Do not be big stupid. Right. Oh my god, I got so much knockback from this thing. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. What? Oh, that's close. I almost fucked that up. Oh well. It's not like a big deal. We don't need the flawless, but it'd be nice to have, wouldn't it? Be a nice thing to add to our collection. Gotcha! Go and get the bullet that can kill the past as well, you fool. Oh! Balls! I just realized we're not wearing his alternate costume. It might, it might not even unlock. I really hope it does. I really hope it does. If it doesn't, I'm going to be real annoyed but with myself. Right. I'm going to be real annoyed with myself if that's the case. I'm pretty sure you have to wear the alternate costume. It might it might just be that you don't. You, you, don't, you, only, have to, uh, you only have to beat the past again. But... We'll have to find out, won't we? If so, fun pilot run, and you guys are going to be shouting at me in the comments. My god. Hold on, let me just notice that. Oh no. Oh no. Very, very bad of me. Very, very stupid of me. Shoot ourselves in the head. Boom. Bang. Yeah, let's, let's do this. So this, I remember his past is fairly... It's, it's not easy and it's not hard. It's just in the middle. Just skip through all the dialogue. Come on. Let's go. We're in the space. The hegemony of man. Oh. 
Oh my god. Just do it. Computer, drive all power. Right, this is fairly easy. Yeah, just keep using the rockets whenever they're available as well. Gets a bit of space invaders going in here as well. Just get one side cleared and you should be fine. Yeah, as long as you keep spamming his rockets, that's what that's what did me the first time I did this boss. I didn't know he had the rockets. So once you know he has the rockets, it becomes pretty easy. Pretty easy indeed. You just get in the middle whenever he does this. You can get out of it, but there's no real need. Might as well just do the little challenge that he sets for you. It's not usually that hard. Just a little slide on there, look. That is all. Just a little slalom. Probably hear me spamming the uh, the, the uh, R1 button to fire my rockets as soon as they're ready. There we go. And he's dead, pretty much. There we go. Didn't even get hit. Didn't even use a blank. What was I saying about this being harder? I'm a fool. Let's see if we actually unlock the alternate costume though. I'm gonna be so sad if we do it. Oh my god. I'm gonna be so sad if we do it. From what I've been told and what I said in my guide, you do have to wear the alternate costume, so I really hope I, I am right about that. If not, if it's just kill a past again, then that's that's fair enough. It might well be. Either way. I'm a stupid either way. I should have remembered. I own fucking guide video and I don't remember. I made it. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid, turtle. Don't be stupid. Pilot. Back. 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 <laughs> that was so dumb. Uh, oh well. At least we had a fun run and you guys can shout at me and be angry at me and hate me. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> oh, why am I so dumb? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this run either way, and we'll do this. Pa we'll do the pilot again in the next episode and try to beat his uh, past with the alternate costume. Equip it. There we go. I'll just start the recording straight away. I've got it equipped now. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.